Last person I want to call up uh, just to share some through thinking is Barbara Glanz and where she, uh, she's, we've been working on her enthusiasm and engagement more. Uh, and uh, Barbara Glanz told a little bit how we met and, and all and uh, she's uh, uh, just constantly working out there on how people can reach out to care for each other and support each other and do all kinds of things. What, what's up for you in the future, Barbara? What are you excited about? What do you think we should be focusing on? Well, I loved, uh, Drea, what you shared and also um, the, the comments from Scott and so forth. Um, I guess, you know, I was thinking a lot about what is my work and, and how is that making a difference? And I feel like my work and the work of leaders really has to be to win people's hearts. And that's exactly what you're saying about intrinsic motivation. You know, to really win people from the inside out, to want to make a difference. And that becomes sort of the, the underlying truth. Um, I've worked a lot with public supermarkets and the mantra, I was sharing this the other day, um, of their founder, Mr. George, is Publix will be a little bit better place or not quite as good because of you. And when I walk around in the public supermarkets and ask them, what is your mantra? They stand up real tall in the meat department or the produce department and they'll say, Publix will be a little bit better place or not quite as good because of me. And that's the kind of spirit, you know, I think that you're really talking about in all of the research that you're doing. So it's been fun for me. Um, I try to keep things as simple as I possibly can. And so when we talked about simple truths, um, I use some very simple models that, again, I think I want people to get their heads around. Um, one is a, a three-column chart with a minus column, a zero column, and a plus column. And it basically says every interaction we have with anybody, we have a choice. If we can discount them, make them feel less important than us or the organization, or we can just take care of their business, which is really a zero in terms of creating a relationship, or we can make a human level connection, which is that plus. And, you know, watching what happened in the room over the last day and a half, and what an honor, by the way, it is to be in this room. Thank you all for all that you're giving and contributing. Um, I'm just, uh, just awed by uh, the, the love and the caring and the, the intelligence and the mission of the people in this room. Uh, but, you know, thinking about, as we talked yesterday, um, how are we bringing that love, you know, to leaders in a way uh, that they are winning their hearts of, of, of people? And so that becomes uh, just a wonderful, I think, way of looking at leadership. And the future, I think, um, we've still got to win hearts. You know, it's about giving people a sense of mission. I ask people, uh, what is your work? And the answer that I almost always get is a job title or a job description. And I say to them, you know, we are all so much more than that, that when I ask what is your work, what I want to know is what are you doing every day that's making somebody's life better? How is your work every day making somebody's life better? And, uh, you know, I think we can start there. We can have systems and processes forever, but if we don't have people's hearts, it's not going to happen. So finding the way to balance the two. A lot of that begins with, you know, the old gun ho worthwhile work, which is yes. how do you define work where people can, can uh, get their energy and their individualism. You know, I mean, at Southwest, you know, they, there's a guideline but use your brains, you know, and uh, the main goal is, you know, we're in customer service, we happen to fly planes, but other than that, how can you be the best individual you can be? Yeah. Use your mic. Oh, use my mic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to use mics. I'm sure you could hear me. Uh, so, well, I thought there was a good joke going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's being real. <laughs> well, I also love, um, you know, you talked about enthusiasm, and my personal motto is spreading contagious enthusiasm. My mission statement, which really came because of you, is I am here as the Lord's helper to spread contagious enthusiasm and to lovingly and creatively help other people and myself 
see the choices we have to make a difference in the world. Mm -hmm. And what I love about enthusiasm are the, re the root words of that are anthea, suffer from God, something bigger than any of us. So, you know, one question I always ask is, are you contagiously enthusiastic about the importance of the work that you're doing? Because as I talk to leaders, if they're not contagiously enthusiastic, how do they expect any of their employees to be? You, you, you tie that enthusiasm into ethos and, and uh, ethos. I interviewed Wayne Dyer recently, and he said that when a baby is conceived, the nine months that the baby is being developed, the mother doesn't do squat. You know, God does it all. And when the baby's born, people go, wow, what a miracle. And then the problem begins because the parents say, step aside, God, and we'll take over. And that's when they push kids towards ambition and performance and all that. And he has this delightful image, which I think is trying to f help find people's enthusiasm, which is, you know, what I've been trying to do with Kyle, you know, and all, which is that God has a real purpose for all of us, and maybe what our real role is to bring out that purpose, and when that purpose comes out, then we have their intrinsic self and their enthusiasm in all those things, and can they be who they are within the context of what we say we're doing as a business, which should be more than making money. It should be uh, making a difference in other people's lives. But that whole thing of helping people find why, why, why are we here, you know, what, what is our contribution to yeah, the Yeah, and world? then encouraging that purpose. And I love the yeah. root word of encourage is cur, yeah. which is the Latin word for heart. Yeah. So it's exciting to see, um, I think that we're moving from the systems and processes and so forth to really, I think, focus on people because of the economy. I think we're, some good things are coming out of this. That we're getting back to more simple lifestyles, more simple values, and people finding meaning that um, in, in ways they didn't before. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was thinking last night, too, uh, a lot about love and, and starting with, you know, love the Lord, love yourself, love your people, and love your work. And that just kind of sums it all mm -hmm. up. The whole love bit. So uh, she's a great love, don't you think? And, and uh, just uh, <laughs> pushes the, I think, pushes people to find their passion, too, and then see where they can take it in the workplace. And, and you know, many of you know the story of Johnny the Bagger. And he is the perfect example of that. And one of the thrills for me in my life and work that, um, you know, he took that idea of how can I make a difference? How can I put my special touch on the work that I do? Mm -hmm. and, and look at how he has brought hope to millions and millions of people. People ask me all the time, I'm meaning to ask you, where is Johnny the Bagger now? I mean, he's got to be in his 30s now. Have, have you know, you that's an interesting... No, th this, <laughs> this happened about 1995. Yeah. And when it happened, the parents called me and, and they specifically said, we do not want any attention given. And so I committed to not ever sharing name or location, even of the store. I never share any of that. And I, you know, I honored that because they, they said he yeah. was getting enough attention from all the people in the town. We don't want him to have more than that. Yeah. So I don't know what's happened to Johnny. Yeah, he could be a Susan. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Any, uh, any questions or... <laughs> Any questions or comments for? Well, great. Thank you so much, You're Barbara and, and Vicky. You wanna?